In this series, we're looking at the various uh, professional responsibilities of engineers. Today, uh, in this video, we'll look at another one, confidentiality. So let me start with uh, another story. Can you work on the new engines? Let's say you design the engines that Galactic Motors hopes to use in its future all-electric automobiles. Six months ago, you left Galactic for a managerial position with Forge Motor Company, a direct competitor. After restructuring, however, Forge's vice president asks you to lead a design team to develop engines for Forge's planned electric autos. The vice president hints that Forge is interested in the design concepts that you previously developed at Galactic Motors. How should you respond? and for what reasons. At this point, pause the video, discuss this case uh, with at least one person sitting near you for about five minutes, and then we'll resume. Welcome back. Just as doctors must keep information about patients confidential and lawyers must do the same for their clients, engineers must keep some of their employer's information confidential too. The in this case, you have an obligation of confidentiality to a former employer, and that obligation trumps loyalty uh, to the current employer. Obviously, you want to work uh, uh, conscientiously uh, and energetically on behalf of your current uh, employer, Forge Motor Company, but you have this obligation of confidentiality uh, about the uh, work that you did at Galactic Motors. Um, and the, so what's interesting here, you, you have an obligation to a former employer. The best way to respond here is uh, to say to your vice president, you would not want me to divulge the trade secrets of Forge when I leave. So this is kind of a reversibility test. Uh, just like the vice president would not like Forge's trade secrets divulged after you leave, or if you leave. Uh, similarly, uh, the vice president should not ask you to divulge trade secrets that you learned at Galactic Motors. So what is a trade secret? Well, it's one of the major kinds of intellectual property. A uh, good example of a trade secret is the formula for Coca-Cola. Um, a trade secret is information that has commercial value, and furthermore, uh, it uh, represented an economic investment to develop. It required some effort on the part of the uh, organization to develop. And so it can't be just uh, some trivial information. In addition, the owner of this information must actively try to keep the trade secret confidential by marking things uh, confidential, secret, uh, restricted access, and so on. Uh, the, uh, of course, we cannot uh, prevent an employee from taking general knowledge to a new situation. So uh, uh, if you've worked at Galactic Motors, you probably developed some general knowledge about thermodynamic properties of engines and so on that you could take to another job. But the specific design concepts are probably trade secrets. Uh, trade secrets uh, are, uh, need not be patentable. So that's a distinction. Uh, to be patentable, something has to be non-obvious, and uh, uh, there are other tests. And the law in patents is, is a little different. Um, trade secret, however, is criminal law. So violations are treated uh, as crimes. They're hard to prove, however, unless um, the engineer has removed lots of documentation in forms of printouts and zip drives or um, uh, hard drives and so on like that. But um, e even though they're hard to prove, uh, in some cases, they have been prosecuted and uh, people have gone to jail for revealing trade secrets. On the other hand, there's no legal recourse if the trade secret is independently discovered by another organization. So unlike a patent, where the patent holder has the right to prevent others from using that information, uh, for a trade secret, there's no uh, kind of um, legal recourse if it's independently rediscovered. So in this case, uh, you have an obligation to a uh, former employer. Of, though you should be a loyal employee, diligently fulfilling assigned tasks and working on behalf, behalf of your current employer, you still have obligations to former employers, such as uh, keeping uh, uh, trade secrets confidential. This is both a legal and a moral obligation, um, a moral obligation by virtue of your being a professional. Um, in addition, Normally, uh, engineers sign non-disclosure agreements and non-compete compete contracts. Uh, non-compete uh, contracts or agreements uh, prohibit the engineer from working on a directly competing project for a limited period of time, typically six months to two years. So here, 
since you've signed these agreements, you uh, have an obligation to keep your promises, and keeping promises is, of course, important for your reputation for integrity. Um, so here, in summary, it's important that you keep uh, your promise to uh, ensure that confidentiality of trade secrets that you've learned, uh, no matter where you've learned them. 